Hello and welcome, Richard Schneeman, talking about full text search inside of Rails. So uh, by default, Rails doesn't have full text search built in. Oh no, what are we going to do? Well, uh, we can use, there is a full text search built into Postgres, uh, or we could use Elasticsearch, um, Solar, or Sphinx. These are all um, data storage engines that will allow us to do full text search. And by that, I mean, we, we showed doing a like query in the database using where we're literally just looking for a subsection of a string. So if we say uh, search for like apple and there's a string of apples, it will match that. Um, but having a full full text search means that instead of just small strings, we can have, you know, giant paragraphs of text and um, it will hopefully be able to do things like uh, like stem words. So if we say um, beginning and the word begin is inside of our text, it will know that those are roughly correlated to the, to the same thing. Um, also, full text searches do smart things like eliminate common words like A and the to, to try and decrease false positives as much as possible. So if you were running a production level application and search is a large part of it, you should consider using one of these. Um, you're going to want to also run it in development, so you can install all of those if you're on Mac using Brew. So we can run Brew install Postgres, Brew install Elasticsearch, Brew install Solar, Brew install Sphinx. Once you get those up and running, there should be some documentation on how to use them. Uh, most of them are going to have separate gems, like a Solar gem or Sphinx gem. Um, Postgres just actually... Um, works using the active record adapter and it's uh, it's a little bit different from the rest of them so definitely just check the docs for the one that you're interested in using uh, maybe ask around see if anybody you know has some experience with one of them so if you run into some odd use cases you you can go to someone for some help um, all right uh, well one other thing to mention is, so you want to run it in development, you also want to run it in production. Um, if you're running on Heroku, all of those, um, there are add-ons available. Some of them, I believe, at this time, Elasticsearch is just in beta, but uh, Solar and Sphinx are fully-fledged add-ons that, uh, that you can just try out. And of course, uh, Postgres we provide to you for free, but um, the, the configuration of that is quite a bit different from, uh, from the other ones. Uh, so if you do need search, then you can maybe start out using the like where query, but I would try to move away from that as fast as possible if search is important to your application. Thanks very much for tuning in. We're going to briefly talk about background tasks in Rails.